Seaford. Visit odds and ends online at oe420.com. Headlines, headlines, you can't get through your day without. On Power 1017. Jada Pickett says, I think jean leg warmers is where it's at for me in 2024. Jean leg warmers. Yeah. Okay, I like it. I just love it. It's put together nice. Yeah. So, and her and Will are good now, right? Good, yes. Okay, they're all good. They're back together together or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Together forever. Forever. (laughs) After that slap, I confirmed the love. That confirmed the love. She said she knew it. A lot of stuff going on today, Jess. What you got? All right, here we go. So gas prices are on their way down. According to GasBuddy.com, there is a window of opportunity over the next six weeks for the national average to dip below 3 bucks a gallon. And that last time we saw that was in May of 2021. AAA spokesperson told CBS News that gas is currently averaging 3.10 a gallon nationwide, but... The average we're hoping to see will be 2.79 a gallon as the national number is heavily influenced by higher prices on the West Coast. So hopefully gas prices will be decreasing very very soon. Yeah, hey, I'll take it. Me too. Former President Donald Trump appealed a decision on Tuesday that would remove him from Maine's 2024 primary ballot. In a complaint that has been filed with Superior Court in Maine, Trump called the Secretary of State, Shanna Bellows, a biased decision maker who did not have the authority to disqualify him from seeking the Republican presidential nomination. The decision the decision is now going to make Maine the second state after Colorado to disqualify the former president under the 14th Amendment. Mm. Also, a man, this is sad, a man arrested uh, yesterday, Whew, this is after he broke into the Colorado Supreme Court overnight and he opened fire inside of the building. According to this press release from the Denver Police Department, 44-year-old Brandon Olson is being held for investigation of robbery, burglary, arson. Police are reporting that the incident took place around 1.15 a.m. It lasted for about two hours. No injuries, thank goodness, to anybody who was there. Uh, The police personnel says that there was significant and extensive damage to the building, though. But this man was arrested for opening fire inside the Colorado Supreme Court. Crazy. New York City was hit with an earthquake early Tuesday morning. The survey now comes out saying that it measured a 1.7 magnitude. It was reported around 5.45 a.m. CBS News reports that residents... Um, are claiming that they felt like a small explosion in the early morning hours. 911 calls sent firefighters and crews searching for hours to find the source of these explosions. And it turns out that NYC was hit with an earthquake. Wow, crazy. Mm. Also here locally in Salisbury, Salisbury's curbside Christmas tree collection will take place on January the 8th. Residents can schedule a tree pickup during normal business hours, 8 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. You can call 410-548-3177. Officials are asking you to leave your trees unbagged, but please remove the lights and the tinsel and the decorations and your stands before placing them curbside. You are also asked to avoid using the trash cans or the recycle bins for the tree disposal. And then also in Salisbury, the city of Salisbury has announced the lease of a garbage truck and front end loader to help get caught up on the trash collection routes around the city. We are told that the truck is scheduled to arrive from Pennsylvania on Friday, and it will allow crews to soon make significant progress in the trash collection. So thank okay. you. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And shout out to all the trash workers. Because <laughs> you guys are great. Man, what a blessing. You really helped us out. Absolutely. You know? So getting cleaned up, you know, from the holiday. So Salisbury will soon see you know, more help coming in from Pennsylvania on Friday. The trash collectors are the real heroes uh, over think, the holiday. I know. <laughs> I, I mean, know. goodness. UPS, Amazon, Yo, you know, all the them. postal service. Yes. And then at the end of it, the trash like. I know that's right. Yes, so, all you thank guys. Thank you, thank you, thank and you. gals. You make it happen. 649. It's a Bill and Jessica show. We got sports after Kenya Grace. Good morning. Good morning.